Hey guys, welcome back. I'm me, DC Gunner, and today we have a G Shock. This is GA700 BMC, and this is a special Black Axe Neon series. And they, they were introduced back in the August 2019, and it codes four G Shock watches with the black dial bezels, neon hands, and accents. So, matte black bezel represents the night and the yellow red and blue neon accents on this watch they represent the lights that evoke neo tokyo city so i had to google it according to wikipedia neo tokyo is a common name for fictional futuristic version of tokyo often depicted in manga anime and video games so this watch is super cool and uh, i like g-shocks every g-shock has a place every collection from high-end collection filled with draw X watches or entry level everyone respects g-shock and this watch is adored by watch snobs watch enthusiasts and watch lovers all over the world and for a reason the story of g-shock is it's a tough as nails it's shock resistant water resistant this one's 200 meter water resistant watch and uh, the only thing i don't like i don't like any of the gg shocks you know why because i cannot sync up the analog hands with digital time i always have to go to youtube or find some instruction manual so because of that i'm including the description box of this video a pdf file of this instruction manual of this watch for this watch so you want to learn how to set it otherwise you go check out my buddy G Watch Addict. He does a lot of G-Shock detail reviews. So go and go search it on YouTube. Also, I'm gonna include uh, affiliate link, Amazon link, where you can get this watch. On Amazon, last time I checked, this time I checked, is it's around 90, 99 bucks. So for that kind of money, you get a lot of watch because I like it because because of these hands, the color of these hands. I said, I like digital G-Shocks, classic ones, but this one just spoke to me because of these yellow hands and red hands. And uh, also another thing from on this GA series is GA700 series watch G-Shocks uh, that I hate is the light. This light uh, the, in the dark, it's nothing to compare to the G-Shock lights of old school G-Shock lights, but this watch is more, uh, if you ask me, more of a show stopper than a pretty useful tool, although it is a useful tool. It will give you all the things you need, like the alarm, stopwatch, and the time, and lots and lots of things. It will, I will put you, I will link you to the PDF instruction manuals how to use all these but overall uh, th when I look at this watch it's blacked out it's even darker in real life than it is on this video on the, through the viewfinder but it's mad black it screams tough tactical urban warrior type of G-Shock and then you get this yellow and red accent and you have a little bit of a blue but i ignore that uh, this yellow and red it's what makes this watch and i absolutely love it uh, you need to see it in person i will do my best to try to show you how it looks like how it looks like on the wrist and everything but overall very very cool g-shock and uh one little tip if you're a newbie to g-shocks here in this frame 5522 that's the module number you you use that 5522 instructions module g-shock and you will find it but I, again i will link you uh the pushers are nice and uh they are waffle of pushers i don't know what do you guys call this in g-shocks but i like them and uh one thing about g-shocks uh, g-shocks are not actually that tough as you it might seem because if you have a 
20 year old G-Shock, you will find that this raisin bezel kind of breaks and rottens, the rubber rottens and it breaks, the, the band break, but when you have it brand new, when you buy it, it will serve you for many years and you can uh, drive a pickup truck over it and it nothing will happen to it. So that's just one of many appeals of G-Shocks, but this one just looks cool and that's the end of the story.